My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Muscle car lovers, we got one for you here. It's a 1970 442. It has a 455 motor, and they put the W30 package on it. So let me let me start over. It's a real 442, numbers match motor, loaded with options. They've added the W30 package to it. There's a four-speed in there. It's got air, power windows, power locks, power trunk, all sorts of stuff. Go to volocars.com, and you can read all those specs study over 100 pictures, and that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale, volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me, let's go for a spin. I've already gone for a spin. I drove this car home and drove it around. It runs and drives great. Fantastic, comfortable, smooth, it just does what it's supposed to. So underneath the car is all redone, the front end's all rebuilt. It has the rally suspension, which is the sway bars with the box, the rear control arms. Uh, factory style exhaust with the trumpet tips, they call them, coming out through the lower bumper there. Uh, it has Coney shocks, gas shocks front and back. You look up at the motor, it's nice and clean. Uh, it has a new, it's a new four speed, not a rebuilt, but a new Richmond four speed that's in there. Uh, center force clutch, balanced drive shaft, has the 12 bolt rear end with that cool looking finned aluminum W27 rear end cover. Uh, the fuel system's been replaced, the tank, the straps, brakes are redone, has disc in front. And the brake lines, uh, you know, hoses, all that's been replaced. The emergency brake cable system is hooked up. And the floors are really clean. It's a really, really nice metal car. All smooth, clean metal in and out, top to bottom. Nice satin black floors. The body is really exceptionally nice too. All along the bottom is smooth, shiny. These gaps are fantastic. Uh, it does have the Ram Air hood, obviously. It is a metal uh, hood, a correct one, not, uh, not the fiberglass reproduction. The scoops are fiberglass and the hood is metal. That's the way they originally came. But look how nice it fits. The gaps are right on the money. This is all smooth, all metal. So I didn't see any problem areas, no, no places where the body is cracking or uh, doing anything weird. This is all really nice. Now the paint, it is the original color. I think it's a beautiful color. Real tiny metal flake, and it's laid out evenly. There's no blotchiness or uh, problems with the metal flake. And the clear coat is polished like glass. I mean, really, it's smooth and shiny. It's wet looking. Now these W30 stripes, smooth to the touch. They look like they're accurate. So many people really botch those up. Uh, if you're an Oldsmobile guy like me, if the stripes are wrong, it just it just ruins it. It bugged me every time I looked at the car. Uh, even the stripes back here, they're normally just put on with pinstripe tape. This is paint, and you don't even feel them. So the paint job on this car, even the spoilers, straight, polished like glass. I'm looking at the reflection of our light bulbs, and it, it, they are literally straight. It's like a mirror. Um, the more I'm looking at the paint in the body, the more impressed I'm getting. I walked past it and looked at it, but man, it's really nice. This is show quality body and paint. Rear window is crystal clear. It's almost so clear I might think it's new. Uh, actually, it is. It's in the receipts. The stainless trim is all polished out like chrome. It's all in really nice shape. It has the 1970 only sport mirrors. Comes to a crease, all the other years they are rounded. In front here, the bezels, the grills, all of this is beautiful. The bumper, the hood locks, all that looks like it's been replaced, it's new. Stripes, smooth to the touch. These hoods always crack up here. I don't see any cracks. A little, no, there was dust. So no issues with the hood. 
beautiful wheels. I love the SS1 wheels. They're 15 inch, they're chrome, they sparkle. BF Goodrich tires, a little bit taller, fatter in the back. Give it that muscle car stance. All the emblems have been replaced, windshields crystal clear. Door jams are real nice. That lip on the bottom and the edge of the door is crisp. Weather strips replaced, uh, sill plates. That power trunk I'm going to show off here. Back bumper, the lenses, the, like telling you about the exhaust tips, all that's beautiful, shiny. This is what the car comes with, a whole crate full of shop manuals, magazines. This top folder here is restoration documentation, including all the specs for the motor rebuild. It is the VIN number matched 455 motor. Rebuilt by a professional and again has complete spec sheets. It's 450 horsepower, Keith Black piston, roller tip rockers, roller cam, a dual roller uh, timing chain, uh, ARP bolts, got all the good stuff in there. Uh, performance built heads been milled, it's been bored, it's been balanced, runs great. New fuel pump, has the W30 aluminum intake, stock valve covers, stock exhaust manifolds, has the Ram Air intake uh, air cleaner system, it's all hooked up, even has the heat riser tube down to the manifold, has the chicken wire on the bottom of the hood, Got the shroud, the clutch fan, all that looks proper. The hoses, everything in here is neat, tidy, and proper. The interior is very nice. Door panels are nice and straight. Looks like they got a screw. There's not supposed to be a screw here, but it must have been popping up. Someone put a screw in it one time, but the door panel is excellent. Armrests are replaced. It has power windows, power locks. Brand new BF Goodrich tire, never used on a brand new chrome wheel. Tells you the guy wasn't cheap when he goes and buys a brand new fifth tire to match. Trunk compartments all clean metal, spatter painted. Bottom of the trunk lid and the jam are painted as nice as the car. Weather strip is replaced. Working trunk light. Has the jack, even has the lug wrench. The mesh speaker tray is real nice. The upholstery front and back is in really good shape. Not brand new but really good like there's a little nick on the edge of this button here headrests are real nice as the Oldsmobile reproduction rubber floor mats as the deluxe steering wheel on a tilt column manual brakes the w30 cars have manual brakes i think i said this car is air conditioning it does not my bad it is not air conditioned so it's a manual disc brakes it does have power steering the red inner fenders, of course, that tells you it's W30. You know what, the car did have air conditioning. That's why I thought that. It has the vents and the controls, but it's been blocked off on the firewall here. So the air conditioning was removed from the motor compartment. If you wanted to put air in the car, they sell vintage air kits for all these. They bolt right in. In the glove box, there is a stereo. Uh, that is hooked up and working. It has all of its original GM seat belts, a center console, which is unique to the four speed, it has an eight track player down below the dash, it has the rally gauges with the tick tock tachometer in the middle. The gauges were sent out and recalibrated and restored. Seat feels good. nice headliner and visors are excellent dome light works has an inside hood lock that's another option under the hood light works wiper motor is new
Ah, it's got to be a nice deep Oldsmobile sound. I love how it looks, love how it sounds, and I really loved how it drove. This is an exciting muscle car here, folks. I mean, everything about it. The scoops, the spoilers, the stripes, the wheels, the stance, the sound. The vinyl top is probably new because it looks brand new. Cool car. I think it's got a lot to offer. I probably should have priced it at least $3,000 more now that I'm thinking about it, but I'll leave that alone. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman because I just gave you my impression of this car. If you have specific questions or concerns, please ask them. They'll do their best to help you. They can also help with financing and delivery. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click on that bell icon. That way you'll be sent the new ones as they're posted. Thanks for watching.